Welcome everyone. All right, this is interesting because I don't have the glare on my glasses. And I don't know how that's occurred, but that's fantastic. So we're here to do a, well, this didn't look that great when it's off camera. So whatever. So the thing that we're doing here is I'm going to purchase, haha, -ha, my do do do. Oops, wrong one. Hit the wrong button. There's only two kinds of people that that's, that 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 hit the wrong button: those that tell you and those that lie. Okay. This is the F1 FV101 Scorpion, great light tank but I was saving my money like a good little tanker so I'm ready to buy my FV 107 scimitar the scorpion is terrific I will not get rid of it what I'm gonna also tell you today is something about we call the A and B runs when you're working on an operation as you can tell it just occurred to me that once again I'm wearing a black shirt now I wear primarily black shirts but I have about eight different ones this is the only one that has red stripes on it so all those those are different shirts you saw in other videos but they all look the same at least in those videos um, this Okay, the A and B concept of working operations. So I'm going to buy this guy. Goodbye, 4.38 uh, million. I'm not looking forward to doing this anytime soon, that's for sure. Purchase, absolutely. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. Because the Scorpion is really terrific. awesome and I'm a really good light tank player no brag just fact so here we want to go in and I wanted to wait till I had the two million as you can see on the screen I have two million in reserve so what I have to do now is go and buy some of the junk that we need let's look at this gun and see what is the uh, what is the accuracy Accuracy of this is 0.33, not good. Okay. But we have a different gun available in the future. That's all right. What I'm going to do now, we do not need, what do you call that? The enhanced targeting. What we will need for sure, and we'll go ahead and get that now, with that gun at 0.33, my commander's not in it. I've already had the commander set up. I'll show it to you. That is a stabilizer. Now watch what it does to this accuracy. 0.26. Basically what that means, to the best of my understanding, is at 100 meters, when you aim at the target, it will deviate up to 0.26 centimeters away from target. So it's going to hit. 0.26 is very good. Anything under 0.3 is very good because most of the time you're not shooting at a guy at 100 meters, but more like 3, 4, or 500. So we want that number down as low as possible. You get below 0.26, it's, it's going to be legendary. So the other thing we're going to need is this, this one has a, what we call the stock speed of 80. That's not fast enough. Boom. Traction. Jackpot. Now stock speed, 88. That's more of my liking. Get rid of this stupid sell enhanced targeting for zero. Of course I'll sell it. I don't need it. I'm going to replace that with a loading time. All right, let's look at this briefly. Go to the module viewer. I'm going to hit the Y button here, and we're going to look at our stats and watch this guy. This dude, reload time is 2.2 seconds. That is pretty awesome. Oh, this has got a auto loader, six shots per magazine. Fantastic. 
let's see, we might not even need or have the option of reduced uh, loading time. We do not have that option, which is fine. We're going to go with advanced repair. Yeah, that's gun lane, that's targeting. Crew, etc. We're going to go. You get stopped on your tracks, trust me. You need this. My friend was analyzing this stuff and he's like, dude, you got to get this. And he was correct. All right, now, consumables. This is a absolute must have. You stop, you die. You cannot afford to stop. Therefore, that solves that. We're going to use enhanced rations because for the commander, this is 10% experience boost. Also, it jacks up the accuracy. Look at the accuracy now. 0.25 on the gun. It's nasty. Whoops. Let's see. I also got to get one more thing here. Um, we can go with gas, or which is more likely. It's not too likely we're going to have any kind of a crew problem. It happens. Well, we'll see what happens. We're going to start with gas and see what happens here. 92 that is very fast not as fast as my other one my other my scorpion is set up for 98 okay now time for the commander so what the deal is here sign a command i've been holding on to this guy because i didn't have the money and i've had this blue nation allegiance fireman commander waiting to go in here. Now it cost 9,000 silver to put him in there because he was in another ta a tank. And this one is gonna be crew training up this vehicle. He is a 30% bonus. We got 10% for the rations that's 40 percent and then he has quick learner which is 10 more that's 50 so he's 150 percent of normal so if he gets a thousand experience points on his own his multipliers make it 1500 it's a 500 point bonus or 50 percent of whatever you get bonus so we're in good shape here i've been waiting for this guy to kick some major butt now the thing here the reason I had to do this is because I'm closing in on long hauls for this week. This will be the final long haul. And I have 66 out of 75, so I have nine more to go. So the prog we'll track progress on that as well. So this dude looks to be ready to rock. You have to go to the upgrades to unlock the final equipment slot. Which will be, yeah, that's the equipment slot. No big deal, 700 points. I could spend free experience to do that, but I hoard free experience. I'll get that in one match, no problem. In fact, well, I'm not going to get that anytime soon. What kind of gun is this anyway? Dum, 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 dum. Okay. Oh, we got to check the. Always got to make sure you have premium ammo. If hit the Y button, we switch this from gold. I don't pay gold for for bullets. I pay silver. Um, I'm gonna go. A hundred rounds of of premium, I guess. It's kind of expensive, but you know. I'm just ballparking this. This is this is just a feeling. Oh, I don't want those heat rounds. Screw that garbage. So let's go with this. Let's make this more like about 140. I don't know how many rounds it fires on its magazine. I guess it was six rounds in the magazine. So, if that's the case, 144 is a multiple of 6. 
as a super math guy, I'm just telling you. So, do 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 do. Um. <laughs> All right, we're good in every aspect, ready for this dude to rock and roll. So I think what we should do is take it for a test spin, don't you? Let's rock. I don't have any commander bonus tokens. Too bad is what I say there. Ah well, the gold farming that we did, did yesterday didn't give me, I, I think I got like one or two of those. Siegfried line. Okay, let me show you what happens on Siegfried line. The, the way for this to be successful is you take the light tank and head out to the west. Other light tanks will go out there as well because that's where you can make your uh, flanking attacks. So we'll head out to the west and see what we can do against other dudes. Hopefully we'll get some help. So we're going to go over here around E1, which is that a ways. So let's give this a run. Now well, this doesn't feel that fast. So it's probably the acceleration is kind of lame. Take a look out here and see if we can see anybody. Yeehaw! So far I see nothing. Oh yeah, this uh, handling is inferior. My Scorpion is, is way better because it's fully upgraded. Not today, Sonny. The Scorpion and the Scimitar as well have very wide turns. Interesting. Wow, I'm by myself. There's nobody out here. It's just little old me. Look, you freaks. Yeah, the gun is not very strong, obviously. Primary rule for light tanks, don't stop. Not the greatest target. Uh, by myself, there's not a lot I can do. Gotta watch this turn, man. Oh. Very slow. He's closing in, apparently. So hit the gas and get the heck out of Dodge, baby. 57, 63, that's terrible. The stock speed on this was 80. I've got terrible armor, and I couldn't penetrate it. Not good. Dangerous. Warning. The circle's not red, so I'm not going to penetrate that shot. Bounced one. Aha, when was the last time we saw a midget tank bounce a, a shot? Well, we're not doing great. Stop somehow. Terrific. Unless 
ain't terrific, I mean old. I hope this doesn't turn out to be a bad result game. It's not going well, man. But sometimes all you can do is what you can do. Oh, well, this guy's no. I'm in evade mode. This thing, yeah, uh, unupgraded. This thing is not good. I mean, it's solid. But it just doesn't have the reaction that the Scorpion has. Well, this guy wants to go by himself. I'll kill him. Still, but we gotta help him. It's not good. That a turn on this thing is horrible. last man standing on my team which is good but as you can see there's nothing you could do in a light tank there's just nothing you can do sometimes and this was one of those times so that unlocks the last uh, slot I want to give you an example of how this goes. This dude is a little rough because it is unupgraded. Literally unupgraded. Let's go back to the garage and see what's going on. Not terrible. When you're on a bad team and you're the last man standing, that means you did something right. In a light tank, I was doing my job. But I had no help, I don't know, if there wasn't any eight years of service stamp. So now let's look at this guy. I, didn't, I forgot to check this out. Do 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 do. And we were number five on the team. Which is bad for the team result but good for the long haul results so let's go check the long hauls remember i was 66. so now dun 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 67. one step closer to another long haul card so that's what i wanted to show you guys was the scimitar that i've been looking forward to for i don't know about a week or so um because I had the, mon I had the money, I finally had enough money to get it. I got about 500000 from the card purchase yesterday. And I wanted to have the $2 million plus. So that whenever I opened the last... Slot. Oh, crud. Not there yet. Let's look at this again. Go to Upgrades. How much do we need? We need 41. Man. Kind of kind of bogus. Okay. We're going to accelerate it. This is uh, goes against my general principles, but 41 is not a big deal. We'll go ahead and knock off that 41. I mean, you can afford that, right? Not a big deal. So... Oh, is that a radio upgrade? No. Should be. 
There we go. Got to check the screen here. All right, we need speed. Double check, make sure spole line are pretty good for ramming, but they're not worried about that. I'm not a big rammer. You don't get rammed much when you have this kind of speed. Hey, what happened? I guess that stuff must have cost more than I anticipated. Oops. Oh well. Oh, that didn't help either. But oh well. So I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna fill that in anytime soon. But let's go ahead and look at this guy. Commander. The red star means that there's uh, emblems available to put on this tank. So these are the skills that he has. All right. So he's a 30% commander bonus, 10% for the quick learner, plus 10% for the enhanced ration. So he's a 50% earner of experience, which is tremendous. Rapid loading, awesome. That's extra aim, of course. Deflection, 5% of, of damage. Um, snapshot, this is turret related. Um, rapid aim is also turret rotation related. Always very good. Born leader, 10% for all your crew uh, performances. Now, if we go back and look here on the consumables, we have gasoline. Now, gasoline gives you there you go. Gasoline gives you, let's, there we go. Now you can see it. Plus 5% speed, plus 10% turret rotation speed. Very important for lower end light tanks. So your turret rotates smoother and faster because that's how I was able to attack those guys and the trick with light tanks is that you saw me doing the the run, the buzzing. I, would, I call it buzzing. I'm like a, a aircraft fighter. I buzz the guy, and the gun will track automatically once it's locked on. And I'm driving just not to crash or stop or bump into things if I can. Don't I don't fixate on the target. I want to make sure I have clear driving because this t these two tanks have very wide turn radius and I mean it's wide so you got to really get used to it the it's not very twitchy now there's going to be a suspension up, uh, upgrade all right anyway so that's what the gasoline does this one the uh, oops, no sorry like I said this is plus 10% commander experience plus 10% crew performance and if you're under like some strict aim, if you're like aiming on, if you put this in another tank that uses, that's using the rations, like artillery, hit the A button and you'll get 30 seconds of improved aim. So if you play artillery, put rations on your artillery because it will drop the size of the circle. Those of you who don't play artillery, you don't, don't know what I'm talking about. Or, But if you've thought about messing around and getting a little better at artillery, put rations on your artillery. Trust me, it's awesome. It will help a lot on every artillery, even the ones with the small circles, which is like the Sexton or the HMC. Well, you probably don't have an HMC. That's a... Uh, tier two American artillery. You got to be from way back like me to have one of those. So in fact, I'll show it to you. Let's go look at that. A blast from the past. Let's go here. I was looking at my eights. Sorry, my sevens. In fact, this one here, not this guy, this guy. This is the tier seven, the one I made a mistake and I thought I was getting the tier eight. I didn't know that, that they had tier seven and tier eight. I knew it was, a, it was a Russian sniper tank. 
So this is the one I got in the card yesterday, you know, an awesome tier seven. So that was awesome there. Let me go and check here. Let's go back, get off the tier seven, go to tier two. Got a handful of those. And let's just go here. This is a T1E6X super mini tank. T2 light, super fast mini tank. There's the, the T1 HMC. This is a tier two artillery. And as you can see on the right hand side consumables, I'm gonna I'll zoom it up for you here. Don't really need much in the way of repairs because you don't hopefully get need repairs. You'll either be destroyed or not for the most part. I have for my artillery, even on a tier two, I have $10,000 rations. It's that good. It's very helpful. Now, if we get off of this one, I'll show you the butt kickers. Sexton, this is another uh, tier three premium. You can get this in the store. It's very good, it has a very small circle. It's one of the most accurate artillery there is probably in the entire game. This is my bread and butter money maker, the M55. The upgrade, the upgrade gun is the M55. The lower grade gun is the M53. So actually, technically, I use the M53. Oh, and this one, no, this is the this is the M55 with the bigger bigger gun. The smaller gun has better accuracy, as you can see, but it does less damage. So it's the tomato tomato. But this one, as you can see, has, you know, one point, um, some hideous number. Actually, uh, one of my friends, he has six million experience in his sextant. So this is 1.365. This guy has a, well, actually, I took the commander out of this guy. I put it in my French um, 10. It needs the help. After five perks on this one, actually, really after three, you don't need, they're not really that devastatingly effective. So I took this guy, the original, his, the original commander was a nine skill. Um, wrong, hit the wrong button again. Happens all the time. Okay. Tier 10 American T92 uh, has a horrible accuracy. Not good. French Tier 5, very good. I used this I used this in some of the matches when I was playing to unlock those pirate cards because it was tier five and above and this is a very accurate um, not as accurate as the sexton but pretty pretty good this is a tier 10 auto loader French howitzer this guy should have oops I guess I took it out I put him in I put him in the front in the tier five right I believe that's the case I don't remember nope I took him out for something I transferred those skills to something oh I transferred those to my Russian I think sniper well it doesn't matter I can transfer those back because we can transfer skills from commander to commander doesn't matter but this tier 10 auto loader has a, you know, like a 45, 40 or 45 second reload in between magazines if the magazine has four shots. It does less damage per shot, but you've got four, so, you know, you could hit one out of four, which is better than zero, like the T92. This guy, when you, when you miss, it hurts because it's expensive and it takes a long time to reload, like 35 seconds. So, yeah, whatever. But that is an example. Let's go back here and clear out this. Okay. So, you know, this is just, you know, my World War II stuff, which I have 55 World War II vehicles. I don't really have that much. I don't keep a lot of the tier uh, tree vehicles. I kept my, funny, I kept the tier two artillery which is no longer available 
you can't get those. You either have it or you don't. You can't get it back. So I dump, you know, three through three through eight on American artillery, and for the most part, I dumped most tree stuff when I don't need it. Once I get past wherever I like the M3 Lee because I'm an old comic book kid, and I used to read GI Combat, which was a comic book about this tank commander who drove an M3 Lee. So this is this is a you know a really great fun tank. It's not a, not a great tank, but it's a fun tank. So I've had a lot of success in the Lee relative to most players because it's kind of cumbersome, but it's just so cool looking that you know I like it. But oh, let me think here. That pretty much covers what we needed to see with the scimitar. That was really the main thing. This is just some bonus stuff. But, uh, so you could, like I said, well, I don't keep those tree, those tree tanks. I get rid of them, especially as you gain more premium tanks. And this is the key. I gained that seven Russian premium tank destroyer. So I have that one and I have the M56, which is an American right here. This, this is really good. It's very nimble. The Russians are heavier and do more damage, but they're slower. This dude rolls 51. And it's got a small wheelbase, so it's very maneuverable. I had a great match in this, in this uh, tank destroyer where I got in the trees. And I had guys rolling up. I killed three guys while I was in the trees. And I literally had like 5 or 7% total health. My screen edge was completely uh, crimson because my guy was near death. I was in there. I killed three guys. It was awesome. But this guy it was a little beast. So as I get these different premium tanks, I, it's like, well, you know, I don't need to keep a tier six tank destroyer. I already have an American Hellcat 105 premium. And then yesterday I picked up an Excalibur British premium. I don't have a tier six American or tier six German tank destroyer. Don't need them. In fact, on my Germans, I got rid of, oh yeah, let me show you. I got rid of all mine except for, it'll take forever. So let me go and trim this down. Go back to the twos. Check this dude out. This is a Panzerjäger 1. That's German for Panzer soldier or uh, armored soldier. This is Panzerjäger 1. And tier two, absolute butt kicker. Which is why it has like, I don't know, 1.7 something million experience. Took this guy out and put him in my tier nine Jagdtiger. So, because that heavy guy needs all the help he can get. This guy had top kill. This was the first tank I ever scored 10 kills in one game. Freaking awesome. But tier two, you can't get it. Now, they have the, the next stage up from this is the Martyr, which is good. And I have the, I have this one, the two. I have the four, which is a Martyr 38. I got nine or ten kills in that one. I think it was nine. Um, and I have the tier nine Jagdtiger. That's all the German snipers that I have. I don't, I don't need any others. I could get them if I needed them, I guess. Um, but again, as as you build up premium tanks, and you and you build up your premium tanks by playing the seasons. Buy the season pass. You get free tanks for that. You know, it pays for itself if you go through all 100 stages. Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to do another video. I'll do another video separate from that on the season pass. I'm not going to tell you now. It's getting too long. So let me get out of here. This was really good. Unfortunately, I wish the uh, game result would have been better. You get what you get. I played as well as I could. 
there was nothing I was ever going to be able to do to, to salvage a team that was that poorly constituted. So whatever, you do your best always. You win some, you lose some. Hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did. It was really good. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.